Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to the live stream on uh, Twitch. If you're watching on YouTube then this is the replay from the live stream over on Twitch. So make sure next time also to tune in here into the live stream on Twitch. You find the link to my Twitch channel down below here in the video description of the YouTube video. So welcome to everyone that is watching live and also is here in the live stream chat. Uh, we're gonna do today an altcoin analysis and we're gonna have a look what is going on right now because the altcoins, especially some of them, are pumping like crazy and also Bitcoin just had the breakout from this uh, $9,300 resistance like we were expecting it uh, this uh, morning. Unfortunately, my trade didn't play out here on uh, BTR because my entry point didn't uh, reach this morning. I had an order set at 9200 and 9250 but it didn't get executed and I am not in the trade but if ever if someone took this trade and now is in profits congratulations and also make sure uh, to take out profits on the right time or at least put a stop loss because we came up here to a very important level of $9,500. This was the target for this morning in case that we would have seen this breakout. We reached it, we reached it and you can see right now Bitcoin is having this little correction out to the downside, which in my opinion, it will be just a confirmation of this new support here at around $9,340 to $9,300. We are now overbought in the smaller uh, shorter time frames and it looks like that we could have a little uh, breather here at least uh, for the very short term before we could continue to pump again towards $10,000 because in theory we are still on our way now towards $10,000. And even here in the four hour, you can see that currently we're trading above 200 moving average, which before was resistance and right now is uh, acting as a potentially new support if we are able to close a candle above the 200 moving average in the four hour. Uh, here also you can see that the RSI is coming into uh, overbought condition. Here also we have to see if we're going to have a potential um, bearish divergence here in case that the RSI is not going higher because currently we have uh, the high here of 9380 and uh, a higher high here at currently 9480 and the RSI created a lower high. So it is important that here the RSI will go higher than the previous high otherwise we could have here a possible bearish divergence here in the four hour time frame and this could indicate a possible uh, dump here pretty soon or at least here a retest of $9,300 uh, here in the four hour time frame. Let's open up also quickly here the Bollinger Band because here we overshooted it to the upside and uh, currently uh, yeah, we are retracing back down into the Bollinger Band. MACD is still shifted to the upside. So in theory, we are now trading uh, here in the upper area, which is a bullish sign. And of course, uh, also here in the daily, you can see that we have a lot of room left to the upside. So it is possible that we're gearing up here for a possible $9,500 to $9,600 retest again. Um, but all in all, we should be now on the way towards $10,000 uh, in theory. Because the, the thing is that we have uh, now the altcoins, especially some of them pumping uh, like crazy. And this happened before Bitcoin was breaking out here to the upside. And um, if we have a look on some of them, let's start here on Ethereum. Because Ethereum is, uh, let's switch over to the daily time frame so you can see it better. Ethereum previously lost here the support uh, which uh, we created before. Let me quickly adjust here the support line. You can see that we lost it and currently um, this could be a new resistance here at $253 which is also coinciding with the main resistance of this bigger channel that we are in currently. So here on Ethereum we didn't broke here significant uh, resistance lines so far. It is possible that today maybe we're going to break here to the upside that is possible. But at the time of recording uh, we didn't see much of a pump here on Ethereum. Um, more, uh, more likely like on a Bitcoin where we just broke out here from this first resistance and now in theory we could see the price uh, moving towards $10,000. And on Ethereum here, if we zoom out here a little bit, 
I would target here uh, this area over here at around $366 if you're really able uh, to go that high and see a pump similar like we're seeing currently on Vergecoin, ADA, so on Cardano, Dogecoin and also Chainlink because these coins are currently pumping like crazy and uh, in my opinion uh, those are even though they so especially Chainlink performed uh, so far very very well uh, and we're seeing also here a perfect breakout from the previous resistance here of five dollars and currently we're trading at around six dollars and fifteen cents um, it is quite randomly this uh, pump I mean Chainlink was performing uh, before also pretty well uh, Vergecoin also Vergecoin today had a massive pump here. We're still pumping actually and um, Cardano as well. The problem is that um, I mean on Chainlink it was clear that we could have seen uh, such a big breakout maybe even on Vergecoin but you see here um, this Dogecoin uh, came out of nothing with a huge big pump even though we had already uh, two days of a uh, quite a sustainable uh, pump here uh, if you zoom out here we don't have enough data but we are still very far away from all-time highs in the altcoins and uh, also currently it looks like that we have a lot of social media trends going on here like you can see here on this article on Cointelegraph uh, where some uh, kiddies uh, and some uh, TikTok influencers are pushing um, some of these uh, altcoins like uh, Dogecoin and Dogecoin is more like a meme coin it's nothing serious about that coin I mean of course it's a project and so on but we have seen a lot of uh, pump and dumps on this uh, coin in the past especially in 2018 and that's why you must be very very careful with FOMOing in right now into these uh, coins of course it is possible that we will continue to pump like crazy especially on Dogecoin here if if in those social medias the people are promoting this coin and they want to push it up to one dollar I mean currently it's not even uh, worth one cent and they want to bring it to one dollar that would be the whole market cap of uh, Bitcoin and um, I don't think we will reach that target but of course we could see some more pushes to the upside if they're continuing to push it to the upside and also if um, people are making some gains but don't forget that the big stack I mean the people that we were in here before they will start to take out profits for sure once we're gonna top out somewhere. And that's why you must be very careful in case that you are FOMOing in right now into these coins. If you were already in Dogecoin, in Cardano, in Vergecoin and Link, then congratulations. If you were in before, you have made very nice gains currently and I think we could still see some pushes to the upside in the next couple of days. But be careful in case that you're FOMO in right now. So if you're buying in here at, after these big pumps, it is very, very dangerous because very often uh, everything is retracing back down. Uh, to where we were before so also here on uh, Cardano for example I'm expecting the price to go again below 10 cents most likely but of course it's not guaranteed we could even go higher but um, yeah I mean this pump and dumps very often happens especially with this uh, small uh, s small uh, market cap uh, altcoins and usually if we have an uh, alt season or if this is the beginning of an alt season usually they always uh, outperform a Bitcoin at the end of a rally so if here we are coming into the end of this uh, Bitcoin rally that we have seen now in the last couple of weeks then at the end the altcoins usually are also running to the upside and then we're gonna see the market crash afterwards and then usually also these altcoins crashes way way more than uh, stocks or Bitcoin for example so shout out to everyone in the live chat. Welcome uh, Amarta, welcome as uh, Wolfie. Nice uh, to see you all uh, back in the live stream. Um, you didn't buy altcoins Amarta? Yes, me too. I mean, uh, I have some altcoins, but I'm not owning uh, those coins, especially not Dogecoin, Cardano, Vergecoin and Link. Those three coins I'm thinking about to buy if we're gonna have a major dump here afterwards. So 
Those three coins are the coins that I don't own yet, but I'm planning to own some if we're gonna have first uh, a drop here in the market, which I think is still uh, possible. And yes, Dogecoin is winning in percentage, that is uh, right. This is a meme coin and today it pumped, um, uh, only today, not considering that we already pumped the last two days, only today we pumped uh, from 0.0029 cents up to uh, 0 0.0056, so almost the double, almost 100% in one day. And um, yeah, we can also go through this article together. I have heard about these TikTok uh, influencers that are pushing some of these meme coins. Uh, and I think, yeah, some people most likely are just buying it without even know uh, what they are buying. And this is also what uh, we have seen in 2017 when uh, all the crypto market, Ethereum, Bitcoin uh, was pushing to the upside like crazy because the people were just uh, reading about uh, 100x, uh, 100x in one day um, and so on. And they were just buying all these uh, small cap coins, Bitcoin and so on uh, without even knowing what they're buying. And I think we will. Uh, we are seeing the same thing right now on this, especially on Dogecoin. Um, currently, I don't know on Cardano, Vergecoin, and Link, but uh, especially on Dogecoin, we are seeing this currently. And yeah, I think the, of, this, of course, could be um, now just the beginning of the next uh, bull run. But uh, I'm more leaning into. Um, a pump and dump scenario so be very careful in case that you are rushing now in into the market and following uh, these uh, um, these influences right now because this can go back very very quickly if you were in in the market before then congratulations you have done very very well but if you're following in up here then in my opinion it's not a good idea even though we could continue to pump here but uh, yeah, you can see also here in the daily time frame, we came from complete oversold to extreme overbought condition within one day, within a couple of hours. And it, it's, it seems that already now we are correcting back down. All these people are taking profits right now because they have done uh, lots of gains here. All these people that bought Dogecoin here uh, in the last couple of days and weeks. On uh, Cardano, uh, Vergecoin and Link, we're seeing exactly the same thing. So I think uh, a retracement back down is very likely. And as I told you, most of the times after a big rally in the stock market and on Bitcoin in these big market caps, at the end of those rallies, we're going to see also the small caps like here also uh, some of the altcoins, not all of them because uh, uh, like altcoin, uh, like, like Litecoin, for example, or Ethereum pumped a little bit, but not that much. Similar like on uh, Bitcoin, we just came to our first targets and that's it. Uh, from this morning, I told you most likely we're going to retest this 9500 and then see if we can close a daily candle above this area or not. This is still what we have to see. It is possible also because of these pumps that we are seeing currently and um, yeah, we just have to wait and see. But on these bigger cap coins, which are also more difficult to move, um, we didn't see like crazy pumps like we have seen uh, uh, today on those coins. But especially here, Chainlink, uh, Vergecoin and Cardano are some altcoins, which I think I will put some money in if we're gonna uh, retrace back down in case that we're gonna top out here uh, on Bitcoin because I still think if Bitcoin is starting to crash here or the stock market is starting to have a bigger dump maybe towards the 200 daily moving average then most likely also these coins here will uh, crash down I don't think that they will uh, um, um, not be uh, not they will not be decoupled from Bitcoin and the other the rest of the markets so that's why I think most likely all the these coins here will fall as well doesn't matter how much they're pumping right now and that's why you should be very careful when you FOMOing when you see candles like this if you are already into this market if you already bought in then congratulations or if you traded it then also congratulations, but entering right now into the market uh, with a long or buying in right now, I think it is very uh, high risk, even though we could continue to pump, of course. 
and uh, yeah maybe you should start to think about if you want to short it because uh, don't forget on some exchanges you can also short and long these coins even without owning them like here on bityard for example uh, on bityard you can go here to chain link and you can uh, also long and short uh, chain link for example also some other altcoins and the other exchange where you can do that um, by the way, here on BitYard, you can uh, trade only with Tether. So if you have Tether and you want to short, for example, link or long it, if you think we are gonna continue to pump, then here you can do this also with Tether without buying the coin. And the other exchange is Femex. If you need an account on those exchanges, you find the link down below here in the video description. With my links, you can get some sign-up bonuses on Femex currently $72. So uh, go down here into the video description of the YouTube video because here you can get uh, the sign-up link to get this pony and also support the channel, of course, for Femex and BTR for both exchanges you find here the, the sign-up links. And here also you can... Uh, uh, long or uh, short uh, chain link for example if you want to trade it on Femex you can also trade for example Bitcoin other alts and gold even gold you can trade over here all the links you find down below here and uh, yeah if you want to long or short uh, Bitcoin Ethereum EOS or XRP I recommend you very much buy it this is my number one exchange you find also the sign up link down below here in the video description $90 for free uh, you can then just go here once you register with my link uh, to the rewards hub and here you can claim a lot of bony uh, you just have to put some deposit or uh, register to the social media platform from Bybit uh, here Twitter for example or um, if you trade like for 10 days, you can get another $5 and so on. You can claim a lot of bony here if you're using my link down below here. And of course, you also support the channel. But all in all, guys, if you did some gains here, congratulations. Uh, those coins that now pumped so crazy, I didn't own. I plan to buy Chainlink, especially Chainlink. The other ones I'm also thinking to buy if we're going to have a big retracement back down. Dogecoin not really even though here we see a lot of pumps and dumps always since 2018 or 17 we always have seen on this coin uh, always big pumps and dumps but the problem is that on all of them uh, even on Ethereum, Litecoin and so on we are still far away from all time highs so even though you see sometimes 100% plus um, compared to the all time high we are still in nowhere and if you have a look on Bitcoin here, we are almost there. So here we are very close to the all time high, especially if we're going to break here this 10K, uh, maybe in the next couple of months or weeks. But here on Ethereum, if we're going to break um, some key resistance points here, I think uh, in some altcoins like Ethereum or Litecoin or even XRP, we're going to see in the future really a big gain so 1000x and more most likely but i think we're still um, far away from it and also here on xrp for example uh, we had this falling wedge now since quite some time and finally we're gonna see a breakout here to the upside the target would be up here somewhere at around 23 cents i mean also here most likely we're gonna see two digits uh, gains but compared to the all-time high we're still far far away and um yeah, even though I own some XRP, I'm not going to sell or take profits here. I'm just going to hodl it till the next bull market because what we have seen so far, in my opinion, is just a potential end rally uh, pump here on some altcoins, which we also have seen in late 2017. Bitcoin dominance is also going down. As you can see here, we broke out from this uh, wedge that we were f uh, forming here in the uh, market cap dominance of on Bitcoin and um, you see that we already came here to this import and support resistance level here of 64% so in my opinion we could see here a potential um, uh, bounce from it so I, only if we would drop lower here towards the 60% and lower then we could see maybe a huge big altcoin season starting but currently we just came down where also previously we had a lot of support and resistance and most likely we're gonna bounce from it you can also see that here we are now in um, oversold uh, condition 
like we had over here when then we immediately bounce back up. So I also think here most likely we're gonna bounce again back up and retest the new resistance up here uh, in, in the Bitcoin dominance. This is what I think could happen. Um, SS5FOO, BTRD is a scam website. Um, you reach the gift amount and BTRD deletes your account. Maybe you should um, um, send me a private message so I can contact BTRD what's going on there or try to contact them because they have a very nice support. And BTRD so far, I never had any problems. So better you maybe contact the, the staff over there because uh, they are alleged and they also are based in Singapore. So usually uh, they do great job. And also, as you can see, you can easily claim all your promotions here. I also took some of them and uh, yeah, I mean, so far I didn't hear about anyone having problems, but if you uh, have problems with BTR, please contact the support or contact me over on Discord. You find the link to the Discord channel down below here so I can forward this over to BTR. I know some people there and they are also offering now this uh, sponsored video by them and they also give to our community this $10 Bitcoin giveaway directly into your wallet without having even a BTR account. So this is something special that only BTR is doing currently and um, yeah I have also some contact with those uh, people there so please feel free to send me a private message over on discord if you had problems with them maybe this is also just a big mistake or whatever usually they don't do like this I also never heard about uh, anyone getting his account deleted here on BTR on BitMEX yes on a competitor yes but here BTR the ones that I recommend you like Bybit, BTR, Femex, so far usually never have bad things happen uh, unless of course if it happens to me or to someone I know and um, also had like a reason or whatever then of course I, I would delete the links and also the promotion for those exchanges but these four are the legit one that I trust and I usually also use especially Bybit and BTR. All right, and um, yeah, because of this drop here, I think we have now this uh, little altcoin rally, but only on uh, these four specific uh, coins. And um, that's why I would be very, very careful in case that you're FOMOing right now uh, into these uh, altcoins, even though we could see some more pushes to the upside, especially if uh, in all social medias, they're gonna continue to push those coins. Um, then maybe we we gonna see these uh, coins even push through the upside in the next bull uh, rally. Who knows? Who knows where it's gonna end? But as long as these uh, uh, these promotions is going on, um, I don't think we're gonna stop uh, so quickly. But of course, it's just a matter of time till uh, the people that have big bags of these altcoins will dump on the market and this is then most likely where this rally is gonna end or latest uh, if the stock markets are going to plunge or Bitcoin is gonna drop again then we might see a potential also bigger sell-off here on uh, these uh, altcoins that today performed uh, pretty well and don't forget that um, stock market especially here the s p 500 is also in a potential um, bull flag here so i'm expecting here also a breakout to the upside which could fire up even more uh, the crypto market um, today we have seen uh, a test here of the support at around three thousand one hundred dollar currently we just had a week here in the one hour to the downside and we are retracing immediately back up so it looks like that also here in the stock market we could see a bigger push to the upside coming up in the next couple of days. This is very likely to come. Uh, but currently here we didn't see any kind of a pump in the opposite. We are testing here this lower region. So you see that the crypto space is a bit decoupled today from the rest of the traditional markets, which is a very good sign. And uh, now we also have to see what Bitcoin is doing. Currently we got rejected from $9,500 and I think we're gonna retest this $9,330. Again, let's hope that we can hold and build up a support today above $9,300. So if we're gonna close today above $9,300, we should be good to go to go long and also buy some more Bitcoins here. If you think that we could easily go now towards $10,000, this is what I think will happen if today we're gonna have this daily close above the 50 daily moving average above 
$300. Because also here in the RSI, you can see that we have a lot of room left to the upside and the next resistance would be up here towards $10,000, which I think is very easy to be reached uh, in the next couple of days, only if today we're gonna close above $9,300. And if you want to read the article here on Cointelegraph, it's on the first uh, um, on the first site because here it's explaining how TikTok uh, sends Dogecoin here into the two years uh, high. And um, yeah, I mean, in my opinion, it's clear that we are seeing this now because here all it says main meme based uh, cryptocurrency Dogecoin is warning traders against speculation after its price gained 50% in 24 hours. And this is what I'm also telling you, my friends, be very careful with those things because um, it is very attractive to um, buy in when you see pumps like this, but this is what we have seen already. And of course, these pumps sometimes are leading indicators also for the Bitcoin price that Bitcoin is lagging behind and we're gonna see a move like that also here on Bitcoin. Sometimes yes, but because this happens to some random coins, especially here on Dogecoin, I don't think this could be a leading indicator on Bitcoin, even though this morning I told you I'm expecting a potential push here towards 9,500 and there we have to see if we're gonna uh, create then a support there or we are going to get rejected at those price levels and at the moment we got rejected and um, we have to see if we can have a daily close uh, above 9,300 and also build up a support here above $9,300 which is very likely but this is what we're gonna have to see later on today and um, yeah what else does it say here in a tweet the controller of doge country demand appeal to the buyers to be mindful of the intentions people have when they direct you to buy things yeah that is uh, true because as i told you most of the times people when they see pumps like this or some influencers are telling you to buy this and that uh, people just go and buy it without even think about or do research what it is so they maybe have some gains uh, for one two days or for a week or a few months a few months maybe not here in this case probably a few days or latest a few weeks and then when they see that every day they're doing like 10 20 50 percent gains they put more and more into it and then suddenly the big bag holders are dumping the market and at the end all these people remain with nothing or big bags of altcoins this is usually how it works and uh, yeah, you can read the article here. At the, at the end, it just say that uh, they want the challenge here uh, to bring uh, Dogecoin up to $1. Uh, it sounds like nothing $1, but if Dogecoin goes to $1, this would be the same market cap as uh, Bitcoin. And that's why I don't think it will reach $1. Most likely they will start to dump it way earlier. So that's why be very careful, my friends. And uh, yeah. So if you had some Dogecoin, then congratulations. Maybe think about to take out a little bit of profits or maybe swap it over into Bitcoin because also Dogecoin or these altcoins compared to Bitcoin currently, they outperforming of course, because Bitcoin is not really moving much at the moment. All right, guys. So with uh, that said, I think I'm gonna wrap up here the live stream. Uh, remember to uh, tune in also on my daily TA videos on Bitcoin so over on YouTube. So make sure to subscribe also on the YouTube channel Alessandro the Crypto and also here on Twitch, of course. And if you need any kind of a trading account uh, where you can trade Bitcoin and other assets up to 100x leverage, you find all the sign up links in the video description down below here. And uh, if you need a bank account uh, here on Bitwala, you can register wherever you are in the world. You will get a German IBAN number and here you can also deposit Bitcoin. They have like an integrated Bitcoin wallet uh, where also you're gonna have your private key. So it's it's working similar like a hardware wallet, but of course um, you are trusting this bank, uh, but there you can very easily swap over from Euro, for example, into Bitcoin and so on. Um, very easily and instant and you also will get a free debit card where you can immediately also use it. You can also use it um, to buy stuff and it will be uh, immediately automatically uh, deducted from your bitcoins that you have on this uh, wallet for example. This is something I'm using sometimes when I'm traveling 
it makes it very easy and it's open up to everyone in the world so if you need a, a, a bank account where you also uh, can use your bitcoins or easily swap bitcoins into fiat and back then bitwala is the bank that i recommend you to use currently this is the bank that i'm using um, to uh, withdraw for example some bitcoins if i need some money or whatever uh, i recommend you this one and also down below here in the video description you find some other useful links uh, to get a binance account kucoin account and uh, i also still have some coinbase earn links free where you can claim immediately for example here ten dollars worth of stellar or orchid or eos if you're using coinbase um, you can just click here on this invitation links and you can get uh, very easily here this ten dollar worth of these altcoins all right guys so i'm gonna wrap it up for now Thank you very much for tuning in here on Twitch and for all the YouTubers just leave any comment you want down below here and next time maybe tune in also on the live stream over on uh, Twitch and um, yeah don't forget that we have this uh, $10 Bitcoin giveaway uh, sponsored by Bityard. Um, you will find the uh, video where you can sign up to this $10 Bitcoin giveaway at the end of this video it's popping up on top of the screen. There you can just uh, go to the comment section, put any comment you want, leave a like, subscribe to the channel and then also put the Bitcoin address in the comment section. So we're gonna randomly select the winner at the end of um, this week. We're gonna do this giveaway every week so make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Alright guys, thank you very much and we see us all in the next one. Bye bye.